the luxury baby product category is filled with stuff that is way over the top and is more money than anybody needs to spend, like $3,500 Fendi strollers or $800 high chairs. But there are items that are considered luxury that might be on the upper end of the price range that are still a great value for money. In today's video, we're going to share with you five luxury baby items that we bought ourselves and that we use and love every single day. Let's get into it. Hey guys, my name is Ben, also known as Mr. McKenzie, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. Consider hitting that thumbs up button on this video if it's helpful or subscribing. Now, when you look at the luxury children's goods market, there are a ton of options out there, and a lot of them are things that absolutely nobody needs. But there are some items that might be at the upper end of the cost spectrum or might not be as cost efficient, but offer some really great advantages or product features that we've found incredibly useful. So let's go ahead and jump into them. Now, first up is the Uppa Baby Vista stroller system. Now, if you have gone to any mall anywhere in the country, you have seen a mom rolling around with an Uppa Baby Vista, and there's a reason for that. These strollers are built like tanks. They are built with incredibly high quality materials and they come with a lifetime warranty that really helps cover just about anything and everything that could happen to your stroller. Now for us, we bought the entire Vista stroller system because what we were looking for was ease of use. And you can tell that with Uppa Baby's designs, there's a lot of thought that goes into the ergonomics, into how their products are gonna be used and how they're going to interact with both the parents and the children. So even though the Vista is a little bit bigger and a little bit heavier than some of its competitors, it's very easy to maneuver. It's incredibly easy to put up and take down and move where you need it. And it actually folds down into a pretty slim profile for storage. Now the thing that impressed us the most about the Vista stroller system was that it could really grow with our family. So while for now it's only a single stroller system, you can easily convert it to a double stroller system or even a triple stroller system by adding an extra seat or the ride on board on the back of the stroller. And that's the thing about Uppa Baby is they have an entire ecosystem of products that all work with one another. So that means you never have to worry about having the right connections, the right connecting pieces. You simply get the right accessories and you know that they're just gonna work. All right, next up on our list of our favorite luxury baby items is going to be our Hatch Grow Smart Changing Pad. Now this has been one of our favorite pieces of equipment for our baby. And it's because it gives us some peace of mind because it gives us some measurements that we can track. Now the fantastic thing about this changing pad is there's the Hatch Baby app that you can actually download and it's a companion app to the Grow Smart Changing Pad. Now, once you started measuring your baby, you can also track all of that through the app and you can actually see charts and how they're progressing. Now, having all of that data at our fingertips was incredibly important for us because we wanted to know how our baby was progressing so that we could keep track of it and make sure that we were doing everything that we could to make sure that he was happy and healthy. All right, so next up on our list is one of the things that gave us a ton of peace of mind when we first brought our son home, and that is the Miku Smart Baby Monitor. So after doing a lot of research, we found that there were really three main competitors in the smart baby monitor market. There was Miku, Nanit, and Owlet. And the thing that really stood out about the Miku is the fact that it can monitor our baby's breathing without having them have to wear any kind of special equipment. Now with the Nanit and the Owlet, they either have to wear Nanit's breathing wear, which is like a swaddle with a pattern on it that allows the camera to track their breathing, or they have to wear this special little sock in the case of the outlet that puts an O2 sensor on their foot so they can measure the oxygen levels in your baby's body. Now, one of the advantages and also disadvantages of the Miku is that it doesn't come with a dedicated monitor. You do have to set it up on Wi-Fi and use your smartphone as the monitor. While this does seem like it's gonna be a pain, you get used to it after a little while. And as you progress and you're not constantly monitoring your kid's breathing and start to get a little bit more comfortable, you can kind of pull up your phone and just check it really quickly if you happen to be awake or at night we would just open up the app and it would actually keep our phone awake throughout the night so we could hear him if he started to cry. Now again while this is an expensive purchase coming in around $400 this is more expensive than the majority of baby monitors you're going to find on the market 
but you really can't put a price on peace of mind. And for us to be able to track our newborn baby's breathing, to know that he was safe, especially when we moved him into his own room for the first time, we wanted to make sure that we were able to see all of the appropriate information so that we could be comfortable and know that we weren't gonna go in and disturb him. And that type of peace of mind is absolutely invaluable. All right, so next up on our list is the LV wearable breast pump. I know that this one falls way out of my wheelhouse since all of the responsibility and work of breastfeeding and pumping falls to my wife. So I went to her to ask if she would recommend this as a luxury baby item and she gave me an emphatic yes. Now one thing they don't tell you when you start your parenting journey is the amount of time your partner is going to either spend pumping or breastfeeding if they're able to. Now we had a goal of exclusively breastfeeding our son for the first year of his life, which means that all of his calories were gonna come from breast milk. Now what this means is that essentially she had a second full-time job just pumping. Now priced at about $500 for a pair of these pumps, this is absolutely a luxury baby item. Now the plus of all this is because these are rechargeable portable pumps, she doesn't need to be connected to a big pump base and she also doesn't need to be plugged into the wall to use them. So she has both of her hands available to her. She can move around the house. She can do chores. She can take care of the baby all while literally making food from her body, which is still the most mind blowing thing to me. All right. So we have come to the last item on our list and that is the hatch rest plus sound machine. Now the Hatch Rest Plus, I've done actually a full review and comparison between the Hatch Rest and the Hatch Rest Plus. This thing has been one of the most, if not the single most used piece of equipment that we purchased for our son. Now, not only is the Hatch Rest Plus a great sound machine, it also has a ton of features like Wi-Fi connectivity and a companion app that allows you to control the sound machine from just about anywhere and everywhere as long as both devices have a Wi-Fi connection. Now, the great thing about the Rest is that you can set all your favorites that are controllable from the touch ring at the top of the device. There's a clock on the front. It can also be used as a backup monitor in emergency situations. Now, with the Hatch Rest Plus, you also have a battery backup. So if your power goes out or if you want to take it on the go and have a portable sound machine to use, you have that convenient option. Now, if you want more information about the Hatch Rest Plus, I will link the video up above the video review that I did recently. So go ahead and check that out. All right, guys, that is going to do it for our five luxury baby items that are worth the money. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, consider subscribing to the channel. We would appreciate it. And as always, if you have questions or comments, please leave them down below. I would love to have a conversation with you. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.